continued detention of Namdekano is helping APC. <laughs> Imagine. Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you have not subscribed, please kindly do and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Ahead of the 2023 presidential election, Amaka Iko, the former indigenous people of Biafra, IPOV's new media and special duties coordinator and press secretary to Namdi Kano on Saturday, asked the federal government of Nigeria to free the, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kano, and let us hear from him. Politics Nigeria reports that Iko expressed her belief that he, the Muhammad Buhari's administration, keeping Kano in custody is a poly for the ruling all progressive congress apc to gain advantage in the forthcoming 2023 general election I record that kano has been in the custody of the department of security services dss in abuja since he was adopted in kenya and brought back to nigeria in june 2021 the court of appeal had on october 13 ordered the the IPOB leader's release, having dismissed the remaining six counts charged levied against him by the federal government of Nigeria. The federal government had asked the court of appeal to stay the execution of the judgment discharging Kano pending the resolution of an appeal it filed at the Supreme Court. Since Kano's arrest, the battle for the soul of IPOP has taken a worrying turn. There has been conflicting others and frictions among top separatists, Kano's family members, and the IPOP leader's lawyers. Simeon Ekma declared five day sit at home earlier, which initiated blood baits in Imo, Enugu, and Eboin State. The sit at home order during periods that are not Kano's uh, court days has been reportedly rejected by IPOB lawyers and the separatist group's directorate of the, the state, DOS. Amaka Iko said that the Nigerian government should free Mazin and the Kano and let them hear from him. He said, she said, keeping Namdi Kano in detention is creating confusion and insecurity in the southeast. Perhaps that is the plan of the, the federal government of Nigeria and President Muhammad Buhari to gain advantage. She said, hmm. Well, I am not even seeing I am not even seeing this giving the federal government of Nigeria, you know any uh okay giving federal government a good name because this is a case that had been already decided by a competent court of uh, jurisdiction so keeping mazinam the Kano in the dss court study is just like you know intimidation oppression yes that is what they are doing and uh, for the fact that the federal government of Nigeria is not even considering the Southeasterners, you know, with what is going on in their region is, is really worrisome. Because every leader um, should uh, have this first thing in mind, how to protect your people, the masses, and all that, their welfare. That should be, a, a, you know, the, 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 the first assignment of the government, where this government will not just know the one when we did. We don't just understand. They are, they are creating more problems for Nigerians. I can't even say what we have actually achieved in this regime. I know that so many persons are still clapping for APC government. Make one they clap for them. <laughs> not of force they hear. You understand? So anything will still happen again. Not every one of us stay here. That is the truth. All of us did this matter. They suffer this suffer. 
So if by this time, Nigerians have not learned, I don't know when they are going to learn with what is going on. We have a government that disobey its own law. We have a government that do not care about the masses. They don't care. Yes, whatever happened to the masses, that is their business. Whether people are dying or whatever, or, or houses are being burnt or whatever, that is their business. That is the reason why people are, are still being killed in the north today. Northerners, so many innocent northerners too. Yes, those people, they are still innocent. Have been sacked from their ancestral homes. You cannot go to your farm unless you pay levy to bandits. So we now have two governments in 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 some in some states in the north. When these bandits collect levies, we are talking about millions of naira. Belo Toji is doing it in in Zamfara State. He's doing it in Sokoto in Niger State. He collect levies. They said, um, what did they call it? Uh, for peace or uh, whatever. So that means if I collect this money from you people, uh, no attack. And it's going to just be for a season. After when they don't plant that time, you know, harvest that money when they pay, it don't expire. So if they are starting again, <laughs> oh my God, if they are starting you know, they are new farming uh, season again. They are going to contribute, you know, new levies to, to, the, to, to the terrorists, you know, leaders. And the federal government of Nigeria, Nigerian army, we call, we tell you that Belo Toji is, 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 is from Zamfara State, is uh, from a local government, from the Chin Cafe, local government area. They know his community. If they even know his house, because Belo Toji said it the other day, uh, the other day, I beg your pardon. He said the government, Nigerian government, is the one, you know, sponsoring banditry in Nigeria. They don't want it to end because they are benefiting from it. If they want to kill me, they can kill me. They would have killed me, but they are not ready to kill me. I just left my heart a few minutes. They bombed my place. In fact, they destroy, you know, some part of my building. So they don't want to kill me. If they if they want to kill me, they know how to kill me, but they will not. But this government, they spend taxpayers' money, our resources, looking for one person in abroad. But we have bandits in our backyard. The Nigerian government cannot do anything about them. God will have mercy on us. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the video.